Alrighty, we have some really sad news coming out of King's Dominion tonight. Um, the park has made an announcement on Volcano. It will not be returning um, to the Operation Calendar next year. Um, and uh, I believe it will be getting removed and uh, obviously replaced down the line, whether that's 2020, 2021. Um, King's Dominion will most certainly probably be replacing Volcano the Blast Coaster. Um, so we all know it's an Intamin coaster. Cedar Fair seems to never have any luck with Intamin attractions at their parks. Um, you have I-305 that needed to be re-retrofitted. You have Shoot the Rapids at Cedar Point and Maverick at Cedar Point that needed to be uh, redesigned and Shoot the Rapids needed to be removed due to a design flaw that led to guests almost being um, injured. Um, very bad fortune with Intamin and it just gets worse. Volcano the Blast Coaster is now leaving the park. Um, and uh, who knows? There may be a very bright future in King's Dominion uh, coaster lineup. So I'm going to honestly make a small prediction now. I'm going to make a bigger video later, but I'm just going to react to King's Dominion removing Volcano the Blast Coaster. Honestly, I am really sad. I wish I had got on it before it was removed. It looks like an amazing coaster, despite the problems that have been going on. I really wanted to get on it, and I'm really sad about that. So definitely jealous of you guys who have been on uh, Volcano the Blast Coaster. Um, and comment down below what you thought of it. Are you sad that it's going? Are you excited what could be replacing it? Um, comment down below what you think could be replacing it. Write a paragraph, write an essay down below in the comment section, whatever you want to do. Vent in my comment section as well. Um, but it seems like Cedar Fair is honestly in the habit of removing attractions now that are costing too much money to maintain. Um, and that could be a good thing and a bad thing. We could lose favorites. We could lose attractions that we all hate. Um, it's going to be a big mix of attractions that are going to go, but I definitely foresee a lot of attractions leaving parks. Um, and they seem to be leaving um, unexpectedly without announcement and without that last ride opportunity like we've seen in the past. So definitely super upset that this is all going down. But again, it will lead to a brighter future. And what do I honestly think could come and replace Volcano at King's Dominion? Well, I'm going to go with a B&M invert. Um, I think a B&M invert at King's Dominion would be fantastic um, and it would be reliable and the park has and the chain has an amazing relationship with B&M um, and it's about time this park sees more B&Ms in its lineup and I honestly think that's what we'll see something B&M inverted or B&M-ish in that park in that spot whatever it ends up being I'm definitely going to look into things a little more and probably come up with a much more in-depth video on it but at this current moment I'm definitely going to predict a B&M invert to replace Volcano down the line in 2021 is probably the year you'll see some sort of replacement and you'll probably see an emergency flat ride th thrown into the lineup sometime soon to um, help uh, relieve people. <laughs> um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this really quick update um, and sad news on uh, Volcano the Blast Coaster at King's Dominion. I know everyone's sad and I can see it online. So um, sorry to anyone who's lost an amazing coaster at their home park. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. Um, if you haven't, and comment down below how you're feeling about this removal. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you're having an amazing weekend. Bye.